Yeah, absolutely, Brad, absolutely. Um, for Turner here, it's not the ideal start for him. It's the last thing you really want. You get yourself psyched up, you get yourself prepared for, you know, your bout. Come out, get the buzz. He's got some great support here as well. And then to have that, um, hopefully that won't affect him too badly. But uh, he's, in the, he's in the cage now. Rabbit support like for Turner here, and he looks like he's well in the zone. Yeah, the beautiful Katie with us. Very fortunate here, FCC to have three beautiful ring girls, Katie, Allison, and Jessica. We really do have to thank Royal Renemte for providing us with some 
fantastic sights here in the form of our lovely ring girls. Yeah, it's a show. <laughs> well, there's that, and it's also a fantastic showcase for young talent here. We've seen some great guys, and uh, you know, looking looking to move onwards and upwards in their career. But a uh, fantastic platform, Adam Tate here. Speaking of talent, the ladies here in Berry Green, Manchester, looking lovely as always. Let's not forget a shout out for the uh, two good looking commentators sat right ringside, hey? Absolutely. Number 48, Brad Walton, here with Iron Jez. Come to the only action in a full contact contender, too. And Craig Turner looks absolutely shredded. This middleweight bout, 85 kilos, semi pro, that means no hot headshots on the ground, no heel hooks, no neck cramps. Headshots allowed on the feet. He certainly means business. Let's see how these fighters come together here in the first few seconds of the fight. Oh, a nice jab there by Hopkins. He's got his man rocked. Hopkins with a takedown attempt, but he's given up side control. Trying to get a takedown there, but that requires so much strength to throw your opponent like that. Overcommitted himself. Serna trying to cinch a guillotine there in the scramble. The arms in to be very difficult to finish. Not impossible. Well, certainly when your opponent shifts his body around, gets into side control, it makes it very difficult to finish. So good work there from Hopkins. Those big, big shots from Hopkins silenced the uh, the crowd here, who were vocally, vocally in support of Craig Turner at the start of this bout. Yeah, it looked like he rocked him there. He's following up with some uh, nifty little lap cuts. Unfortunately, he didn't land. If they had, well, I don't know. Oh, tries to secure a takedown from the bottom and gives up an even worse position. And here's. Craig Turner now with a chance to go to work from top position. Yeah, and he's looking looking for a bar choke. Yeah, he's, looking, he's looking to sink an Ezekiel. It's difficult if he can get the pressure on. Um, across the throat there, he's trying to put the pressure on. Working shots to the body now is Craig Turner. As he looks for his other options. Ends up in the full guard of Matt Hopkins. Turner trying to keep busy here. Hopkins has wrist control, throws up a triangle, doesn't get it on the platter attempt. Turner backs off and the two Warriors back on their feet now, ready to sling leather. And another right hand lands from Hopkins, he works his man again. He's connecting man on the ground, slight surprise here from Turner, he wanted to stand up again. Turner closing the distance there, he was hurt by that shot. He recovered well and put in some big knees there. Hopkins stalking his man, landing that long jab. And he's taken his opponent shots from impunity, rocking him now. Huge shots coming in here from Matt Hopkins looking to finish. Oh, some absolute bombs, absolute bombs, some huge uppercuts coming in there. Turner's got the plunk in slots, he needs to throw shots, but he's taking big uppercuts, he's down! A late kick there, a late kick there, and the referee, I believe, has stopped the action. That was not a TKO, that was an illegal kick to a downed opponent. And Craig Turner was just given an 11th hour reprieve there. He was getting finished. He took an illegal kick to a down fight and he's now going to get time to recover. What a surprise, what a shocker. Unbelievable. I mean, Turner was rocked, absolutely rocked. He's down, he's, he's really struggling there. Hopkins, all he had to do was mount and finish the fighter. Craig Turner is going to take every second he possibly can here. We might be getting a doctor's check. Turner seems to be saying he's okay to continue. And it looks like this bout is about to commence. But one thing has become abundantly clear, Craig Turner needs to get this fight to the ground as soon as is humanly possible. He needs to shoot, try and get Hopkins to the floor and work from those positions. Because at the moment, from stand-up, he's, uh, he's, really, he's really losing. He's, he's not really got much of a chance against an experienced fighter in Hopkins. Hopkins comes out immediately, stops his man, and he's all over him. Landing big shots in close, there's a big right hand. Hopkins smells blood here. Oh, he's dropped him. So it looks for a take that Hopkins looks in the guillotine. This could be it, there's a submission. What a fantastic finish from Hopkins. Fantastic, and he's had a ring back. Wonderful finish, wonderful. And we're showered with spit, spit and sweat. Oh, it certainly is raining where we're sitting back. And Matt Hopkins is making his feelings known. He's getting a lot of booze there from the fans of Craig Turner. And he's made his displeasure known. And Turner, you know, he, he was rocked. He was in some serious trouble. Had an opportunity for a bit of a reprisal there. 
had some time out. He really needed to close it up and get that to the floor on the floor because Hopkins, he smelt blood, he knew he had the upper hand and he finished the fight clinically.